Good morning and welcome once again to Rise and Shine with Alice MacArthur. Good morning. Hey, Charlotte. How are you this morning? I'm doing well. Thank you. Good, good. I want to ask you something. Uh oh Are you a doer? Now, Charlotte, I think I can answer that for you. <laughs> I think that you're a doer. But what about you at home watching? Are you a doer? And if you are, you know what I mean. Whatever needs to be done, you're there to make it happen. And it doesn't matter if it puts you out, you're there and you want everything to be perfect. Especially at Christmas dinner. Mm. Now Christmas dinner isn't gonna be quite the way it, it normally is this year, but we still are gonna to wanna to make everything perfect. We wanna make sure that the turkey is basted just right and, and oh, he needs his tea refilled and oh, they're setting the table, so I gotta go do that. It doesn't matter if I don't sit down for a second because it's all about me. I can do this, I got it, I got it, I got it. And you know, there's a Bible verse that talks just about that. And it says, um, it says, um, if I trust in my good judgment, everything will be just fine. I, I think, no, you know what? I better look that up. Um, <laughs> I, I think believe, too you better look that up. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Proverbs. What is that? I'm sure it was I can trust in myself but let's look. Oh, no, it's, it's Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Oh, boy, did I get that wrong. Mm -hmm. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. So it's not all about us and what we can do even though we do want everything to be perfect you know before long i realized that my family is off enjoying things and there i am being a doer but is christmas really about the turkey is christmas really about the Christmas tree and how pretty we can make it and the gifts under the tree? Is Christmas really about family traditions and having everything be just perfect? I want to talk to you today about two women in the Bible, Mary and Martha. And we can find about them in Luke chapter 10. And in this particular passage, it's where they first meet Jesus. And they became wonderful followers of Jesus. But this is the first time that they've met him. And Jesus is traveling with his disciples, and it says, and this is in uh, verse 38, Luke chapter 10, verse 38. Now it happened as they went that he entered a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her, into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Sounds like Martha is a doer, doesn't it? Therefore, tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha. You are worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed, and Mary has chosen that good part which will not be taken away from her. So Martha was the doer. 
Martha was busy scurrying around trying to get that Christmas dinner and that Christmas decorations and the tree just perfect. But Mary was taking time to sit at Jesus' feet and to soak in every word that he had. You know, Christmas may not be the same, but think about the new traditions that you can make. Maybe before you open your Christmas gifts, you have a devotional with your family about the very first Christmas gift. Maybe you take a pie over to a neighbor that is shut in. Maybe even if you're bold enough, and I remember doing this, you go around and you carol at different houses. Boy, did I enjoy doing that. Make some new family traditions. Sitting at Jesus' feet. What is Christmas really about? We want to make it perfect. And as long as, remember, as, long as we remember that Christmas is about Christ and Christ alone, Christmas will be perfect. My prayer for you this Christmas season is that you trust God to order and provide everything in your life. Things are truly different. And we have to depend on God for whatever is coming next. He's faithful. He's always been faithful. So I would ask that God still your soul and that he just give you a desire to sit at his feet. You know what? Someone else can help with Christmas dinner. Someone else can help set the table. Someone else can help decorate the tree to give you that time to sit at Jesus' feet and be still. Just to be still. I'm not going to do a traditional Christmas song, but rather a song to remind you that God is in control and encourage you to be still. joyful end but you know it occurs to me also that perhaps Christmas doesn't have the same meaning for you because you don't yet know Christ perhaps you have not opened that very first Christmas gift oh well, now's the time to do it Everyone's opening gifts. Why shouldn't you open that first Christmas gift? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son 
his only begotten son. That's what Christmas is about. That whosoever, that you, if you believe in him, will not perish or have, but have everlasting life. But you know, we're all sinners. And because we sin, we don't have access to heaven. That's why Christ came. That gift of Christ and his birth, he came to be a gift to be opened for salvation. So if you have not opened that initial gift and received Christ as your savior, I am gonna ask you right now if you would like to do that. If I were to give you a gift and I hand it to you, the only thing that you have to do in order to make it yours is to accept it. Sure, you may know all about Christmas. You know about the nativity. You know the Bible uh, story about the baby in the manger. But do you know Jesus Christ as your Savior? I'm going to lead you in a very short prayer. And if you've not opened the gift, if you have not accepted that gift, now is the time to do it. Pray with me, would you? Dear Jesus, thank you for coming as a baby in the manger. I want to be that whosoever, and I want to accept your gift. I know that I've sinned and done wrong, and I thank you for dying on the cross for me. I pray now that you would forgive me of my sins and come into my life. I open that gift now. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for forgiving me and for saving me. I give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I would encourage you that if you just said that prayer, there are Christmas Eve services, even here at Mountaintop Ministry, there's a Christmas Eve service. And I would so encourage you to come and to fellowship, to fellowship, to meet other Christians, to learn about God. Because it's enough to accept and to open that gift but there's so much more that Mary knew about by sitting at Jesus' feet. So if you're a doer, if you're Martha, it's time to stop and let your heart and your soul be still. Sit at Jesus' feet. Please be sure to hit like or leave a comment. If you accepted and opened that gift for the first time, let us know. We really want to pray for you. And call and say, hey, I opened that gift for the first time. Will you pray with me? Be still, my soul. Spend time with Jesus at Christmas. And remember, Christmas will be perfect if we remember that Christmas is really all about Christ. Rise and shine. Have a great day.